Another season is here, which means Thanksgiving is on the way. So it's time to look at more of your favorite characters that were giant balloons in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And for this season, we're going to start with my most requested character to date. I was not going to plan on doing him, but with many requests, why not do it? Which is our favorite video game character, Sonic the Hedgehog. However, there is a catch to it. Since Padmac has done a great retrospective of Sonic in his video back in 2017, what I will do here is just summarize of Sonic's history and make it a little bit different here. 1993 marked the debut of our beloved Hedgehog, who became the first video game character in the parade's history, mainly for the promotion of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, with of course Sega of America Incorporated as a sponsor. For the design, it's what a shock, as I call it, a generic design. Nothing special. But many fans called the first version of Sonic as Classic Sonic. This version would go until 1997, making a total of five appearances. But only two times he went all the way through the entire parade route, which were 1994 and 1996. Because this balloon had a bit of a curse for Macy's, as Sonic ended up having three accidents in history, and they all had to do with the winds, making him the record holder for the giant balloon with the most accidents. It's a little more difficult than usual! In his debut year in 1993, after passing through Columbus Circle and going into Broadway, a gust blew Sonic into a street pole, causing him to puncture his left eye. As the balloon began to deflate, the light pole fell down into the crown, injuring a little girl and a police officer. He smashes into the uh, lamppost, broke the lamppost, and uh, the large part of the lamp came down and looked like it smacked this fell in the back. Fell right into the crowd. Yep. In 1995, a tree had structure Sonic at Central Park West, but it wasn't until Times Square when he was removed again. But then in 1997, at the parade starting, he immediately got deflated. Some people say it's because the overnight winds caused him some minor damage, but since we don't have photo or video exist of his accident, I can't really confirm that. However, he was not the only one for the latter year. The Pink Panther, Quick Bunny, Barney, and one other balloon that were severely damaged, which the latter one caused a serious accident that made the last two balloons removed from the parade. As for the parade's broadcast on NBC, when a balloon does not reach Herald Square, NBC shows either a test flight footage if it's the balloon's debut, or show a previous year when the balloon was at Herald Square. For Sonic, the footages that were used for him for those three years were his test flight footage in 93, and the 1994 parade for 95 and 97. Love them Yankees. Hallelujah. Due to the heavy winds, they were showing you some of our balloons on videotape. We just wanted you to know that it is a really windy day, and it could be a bit of a problem, so there. Well, it's been jumping all the way. Along comes Sonic the Hedgehog. Every kid knows this video game superstar with his bodacious blue spikes and red-hot sneakers. Furnished by Sega of America, the Hedgemeister's debut in the parade is already bigger than a sonic boom. Hey, I must say, Katie, that that Sonic the Hedgehog is looking as sharp as his uh, three rows of spiky quills. I just wonder who gets to scratch his back. Not me, Willard, but thanks for joining us, Sonic. Would you scratch my back? <laughs> Not on your life. All right, would you scratch the director's back? <laughs> Ronald McDonald fills the sky with Santa's sleigh just a few clouds away, next on NBC. Take a look, folks. Here's Sonic the Hedgehog. I just saw him on the 72nd Street, 77th and 72nd. Sponsored by Seagull of America. Flies above us right now at 64 feet tall and 26 feet wide. Check out. Check out, my friend. Ooh, baby, baby. He's a super hog with massive size, 21 feet. 
know something? I bet he could flatten a cement mixer with one dainty little step. Hey, Willard, don't tempt him. <laughs> you know, kids love old Sonic because he's the hippest and coolest thing around. He's very determined. Look at his nose. I like him. He's got a cute do. Sort of a punk-looking hedgehog, isn't he? But then again, I guess I think, all hedgehogs uh, uh, are punk. Look, there's a shot. I think he likes it. Mikey likes it. Isn't that great? He ran into some trouble last year because the winds were so high, but we're glad to see he's doing well this year. I know this computer mantle. Sonic the Hedgehog. He can turn a few video heads, let me tell you. Sonic, furnished by Sega of America, is a very cool teenager with a spiky quill up and down his back. Is that the new end thing, Willard? Spiky quills? That's a member of Spiky Quills. One of the Our Gang group. Maybe I'll try a couple of quills instead of hair next year. It might work for you, Willard, but you better be able to move fast just like Sonic. He's named Sonic because his character can move faster than the speed of sound. Hey, we asked the balloon captain, Elliot Tobias, you know, just how big Sonic is. It would take 1,600 computer screens to fill his hedgehog frame. Yowza, Sonic the Hedgehog balloon is second only to Garfield in how much helium he inhales. And remember we said this is the anniversary of the discovery of helium 100 years ago. Macy's is the second largest consumer of helium in the U.S. Who's the largest, Katie? Uh, let's see, Willard. Uncle Sam? You son of a gun, right on the money. Frazier's Kelsey Grammer and more spectacular parade when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues. He's faster than the speed of sound. That's why they call him Sonic 3D Blast. Deal with it. He is the coolest. But when, when it comes to video game characters, dude, he's the hottest. Sonic is provided by Sega of America Incorporated, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, Katie, let me tell you something. He is one happening hedgehog. Ding the rose of spiky quills down his back. All loosed up for today's parade, did you say? As if. I'd say he's dropping some serious tune. Dude. Oh, that's your line. You lost me, Katie. I don't even know where we are. To say our totally tall hedgehog high on helium would be an understatement. To bring his 64 by 26 foot frame to life. Sonic is fed nearly 19,000 cubic feet of helium, more than any other balloon in this parade. Like this guy's also cool. He is way cool, although he's a bit deflated this morning because of the wind. But thanks to the wonders of videotape, he's still the dude with the dude. Classic. And this is no hype, dude. This Sonic the Hedgehog, furnished by Sega of Sega. America. He's way fast, the Chuck Yeager of the video set. So you went by twice that time. You missed him. You got it. Kenny, you really get into this when you do this. Whatever. He's the man. Totally. And has his own rock band. Hang glides in summer and digs winter sports. At 64 feet high, Sonic's taller than 11 snowboards. Man, I dig those spiky quills down his back. Probably uses a little sculpting gel. He's stylish. Sonic hangs a hard right onto 34th Street beside his spectacular, and that's thanks to the 34th Street Partnership. That's a local group that makes sure Herald Square Park is picture perfect. They did a magnificent job today. Even if this balloon was a bit of a curse, this balloon did actually appear in some events outside of the Macy's Parade. The biggest one being in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania on February 2nd, 1994 on Groundhog Day, when the Sonic 3 game made its premiere. Macy's Parade Studio brought the Sonic Balloon up close, and many people came in and played the game. Even the members of the Inner Circle even played it as well. People come out here to have a good time. It's all about fun. It's, uh, it's been going on for a hundred years. We've gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. It's just a good time, small town event. Oh, and by the way, Phil saw his shadow that year. Sorry, folks. Six more weeks of winter. No! Moving on, about two decades later, in 2011, Sega decided to bring him back in honor of his 20th anniversary, but this time as an all-new balloon. This time, it's his modern look, which many Parade fans call this second version as Modern Sonic. And it looks like he's gonna go fast here! <laughs> And unlike its predecessor, this Sonic Balloon managed to survive the entire parade route. 
The only problem is that this balloon was only used for two more years, which added from its original run in 2013. Despite its retirement, the second Sonic balloon will make its comeback for one more year in the 2021 Macy's Parade. In conjunction with the Fury of Anniversary franchises of the series Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic's all new latest game, Sonic Colors Ultimate, this balloon would be immediately retired after this year as the second version has made four appearances. Of three. Banners, clowns, galore, stilt walkers, music, confetti. Yes, this is the big parade feast with all the trimmings. But nobody, and I mean nobody, puts on a parade with the big balloons like Macy's. And don't blink or you'll miss Sonic the Hedgehog, the newly designed balloon version of Sega's speedy and wildly popular video game toy and TV character with the ability to run at supersonic speed. Sonic is streaking across the sky announcing his 20th anniversary of Sega's release of a new video game called Sonic Generation. Take a good look. This 350-pound inflatable boasts two 22-foot-long sneakers, which rockets Sonic down 34th Street toward his next adventure. And heading downtown and making their annual Sonic the Hedgehog, the star of video games, television, and his own toy line, streaks through the sky. This high flying, spiky speedster was the first video game character to ever appear in this parade. Sonic has starred in over 70 video games since his debut on the Sega Genesis. 21 hog wild years ago. Sonic's newest video game, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform, is in stores now. And again, this year, Sega brings us Sonic the Hedgehog dashing through the morning air. This blue blur can run faster than the speed of sound and has the ability to curl up into a ball like you, Savannah, and mow down your enemies. Sonic was the first video game character to be featured in this parade. Fans are now speeding to stores to capture Sega's latest video game called Sonic Lost World, which pits Sonic against the Deadly Six as he races inside, outside, and upside down using new moves and power-ups. Let's take a We got the same stars, the same stars. Just want to live there. Celebrating his 30th anniversary, Sonic the Hedgehog remains one of the most loved and iconic video game characters of all time. The Blue Blur has blazed a successful entertainment trail not only across the video game landscape, but in TV, animation, consumer products, and his most recent blockbuster movie, Sonic the Hedgehog. With a new animated series and movie sequel coming out next year, plus the launch of the Sonic Colors Ultimate video game this holiday season, Sonic is speeding into the future faster than ever. Fresh out of the oven from Entenmann's here. So in total, Sonic has made 9 appearances in terms of both balloons. It was given that Sonic gave a repaint job for sure. There is no surprise that he's coming back in the Macy's Parade as an all new balloon. But we'll have to wait until the next one. All I can say is, Sonic's gotta, gotta go fast here. <laughs>